In this video, we'll talk about themelets. Now, Kaito and his web development team have created some reusable user interface components that they would like to share across different themes and sites. They have better visualization when moving widgets onto a page and some modern animation that emphasizes when the menu is open. To share these, we'll be using themelets. So what are themelets? Well, they're small, extendable, and reusable pieces of code that can be implemented by a theme. Themelets can consist of CSS, or in our case, SCSS, HTML templates, which are the free marker files, images, or JavaScript, just like the larger themes. Now, themelets can include free marker and JavaScript, but they'll need to be included in source folders that reflect a theme, such as source slash templates or source slash JS. Now, there are two different approaches to making a themelet available so that it can be used by a theme. Using npm link will create a symlink in the global npm module directory on your local computer. Or using npm install will copy the files into the theme. Using this second method, it will be necessary to rerun the command every time you make changes to your themelet. All right, a quick themelet knowledge check. Pause the video, see if you can answer the questions, and then we'll come back to the answers. Themelets are small code snippets or components and can be reused across images. Themelets can consist of the same file types as themes, CSS, JS, HTML, and images. Use the yo liferay dash theme colon themelet command to generate a theme. Themelets must be visible globally in order to be used by all your liferay themes. Use either the npm link command or npm install dash g command. A themelet must be installed in a theme in order to be used by that theme. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.